Have you ever accidentally copied a melody or written lyrics only to realise that the melody you've come up with is from another song? Well, we all have. So what can we do about it? Well, there's two things. You can one, hire a team of slick big city lawyers and wait for the lawsuit. Or two, just change the melody. In this video, I want to talk about how we can change any melody into something more original and unique that fits your song's needs. Hi, I'm Tony from Songwriters Chop Shop. It's usually not too difficult to change a melody and come up with something that doesn't sound the same just by making some changes to the pitch, the rhythm and the chords underneath the melody. I'm going to use Hook Theory's hook pad so we can get a good visual for this. If you haven't checked out hooktheory.com, I suggest you do. It's a great website with tons of resources to help you make music. Okay, so here we have a melody. Let's look at some quick moves we can make in general to change this up. Like I said, we've pitch, rhythm and how the melody works with the chords underneath it. So let's change the pitch first by flattening this into a one note melody. So let's make a couple of changes to the rhythm here. Let's shorten this note. And nudge this note forward. And then we'll just copy and paste it in here. So that's easy enough, we've changed the rhythm and the pitch and already it sounds different enough with those small changes. So what about the chords? So if you don't play an instrument or know what chords you want to go to, Hook Theory has some really cool features that can help you decide what chords to use. And you can hear by changing the chords, it brings out a different flavour to the melody. And if you don't know what notes to use for your melody, hook pad will tell you what notes are in the chords and what notes are not. So why does this matter? Notes that make up a chord are considered stable. And notes outside the chord will sound unstable. This idea of stable or unstable, tension and release is basically what makes music emotional. I'm not going to go into the theory in this video, but here's a quick example to listen to so you can hear stable notes and unstable notes. Let's make this first bar unstable by using the note outside the chord. We make the second bar stable by using the note inside the chord. We make this one unstable. Unstable. And stable. Okay, so let's talk about lyrics. When it comes to songwriting, we can break down what we do into two basic categories. We're always one, making creative choices, or two, solving creative problems. So the changes I made to this melody were all random, so I don't know if I'd really class them as creative choices. And on top of that, I did solve the creative problem of the melody sounding like something else, but I've also actually made a new problem for myself. Like, what is this new thing? Of course, I could spend all day tweaking that, making changes to the chords, the rhythm, and the melody. And that's fine if we're just noodling around to see what we can come up with. There's endless possibilities. But if I was actually trying to write a song right now, lost in all those possibilities is not where I'd want to be. So what if we had something to guide us through the process, guide us through those changes we make, like a lyrical idea? Let's go back and make those changes again and see the difference in how we make our choices when we have a lyrical idea to guide us through the process. So let's rewrite the lyrics to Twinkle Twinkle using the same rhythm. So we're not going to overthink this, we're just going to follow a lyrical idea and see what changes that it suggests that we make. Let's try something like, never thought I'd feel so low. Yeah. 
Oops. Thinking faster than I know. Okay, so the first suggestion that this is making to me is the end rhyme. Just like we talked about the notes in our melody being stable and unstable, that concept goes for every aspect of songwriting, from the chords to the lyrics to the melodies to the rhythms. I've done a video about this when it comes to lyrics, so I'll link that in the description below if you want to check it out. So this new lyric is darker and it's more unstable than Twinkle, but the rhyme scheme here is stable. So that's the first thing I'm going to change. They're sinking faster all the time. Okay, and like I said, this lyric is darker, so that suggests that maybe we should use some minor chords. First, let's flatten the melody again to make it more neutral. And we'll kick it off with a minor chord. So at this stage, there's no need to overthink a chord progression. We just need to find something that feels appropriate to the mood of the lyric. It can all be changed later on, and now we just want to focus on the melody. So let's try A minor, F, G, A minor. Okay, so everyone's creative choices will obviously be different, but for me, this is enough to move forward. That sounds okay. So the next thing that's being suggested to me here is tempo. This is 120, I think something slower would suit it better, for what I have in mind anyway. Okay, so on to the melody. What is the lyric suggesting? Well, we have words like solo and sinking. It's all talking about a downward motion. So that suggests maybe a melodic shape that we can try. We can try a descending shape. So let's see what that's like. Okay, so that general shape feels good, but it's also suggested something else. All these notes are falling on the main beats of the bar. Now that's a pretty stable situation, which our lyric is not. So let's look at the rhythm and see if we can move some of those notes away from the main beats of the bar to make it less stable. So let's move these two notes back and add a short note here so it doesn't start on a stable beat. Right, so this looks like a motif now. Let's hear how that sounds if we repeated it in bar two. And we move that down to where it was. Yeah, so that's okay, and let's see what a different chord might sound like here. Yeah, that's not bad, so let's keep seeing what the lyric suggests, and... Okay, so next we have syncing. Let's keep with that descending idea. And then we have faster, so why not try and, let's try and make that word actually go faster.
And then to finish off, let's try changing the shape. And we're talking about time here, so let's try and loosen up the timing and the rhythm of these notes. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Everyone's creative choices are going to be different depending on the song and what you want to express. But having a lyrical idea to guide us through this process actually gave us a destination to work towards so we could make the changes to the melody and we could also know if the choices and changes we were making were random or were they actually working towards something. And now we have chords, melody and a lyric that's all working together to say the same thing. And we can have a quick listen here to see how it might sound more like an actual song. Yeah, so don't forget to check out hooktheory.com. There's tons of great free resources for making music.